Hi there, this is Manuel with Antagma. In this quick tip I want to talk about something different, about Blender. Blender got a lot of attention recently, and rightly so, because with its latest release 2.80 the software matured a lot. And that means that we as Houdini users might consider using Blender as a companion application. Especially if you want to do some destructive modeling, some quick fixes to a model here and there, and you don't want to use the procedural tools inside of Houdini, you can use Blender. And the other thing that is quite nice is the 3D real-time PBR viewport called EV. That is something that we don't find in Houdini, so if you want to check out how your stuff is looking rendered real-time, using Blender is an option too. But there is a big annoyance, and that is navigation. If you are going to Blender and you want to navigate, they are forcing you to use the middle mouse button to orbit, then middle mouse button and control to zoom and middle mouse button and shift to pan. And that is okay, but it is different than Houdini, because in Houdini we use spacebar or the alt key, and the alt key is sort of a standard by now. So I want to show you how to quickly switch Blender to use the alt key. You can do that if you go to Edit Preferences. In the Preference dialog there is a section called Key Map, and here you have actually selected the Blender Key Map, and the Blender Key Map uses the middle mouse button for navigation. There is an option called Industry Compatible. If you select this, all the keys change, and now you can use Alt, Middle, Left and Right to navigate like in Houdini. The problem with this approach is that not only the navigation keys changed, but all the keys changed, and that means if you want to follow a tutorial, you probably can't, because everything is different. So I like to have my Blender shortcuts all set to standard, but the navigation. And that is what I quickly want to show you today. So if you go to the Preferences and switch back to the Blender key map, you can click this little plus icon to create a new key map, and that will be your key map. I call it Alt Navigation like so, and then press OK. And here in this list you have all the commands that Blender understands. And the first thing that we, you want to open is View 2D, and inside of View 2D you see all the different commands, and one of them is Pan View. And Pan View is currently set to Middle Mouse Button. We want to change that by just clicking on Middle Mouse Button, then it prompts Press a key, and you just change this to Alt Middle Mouse Button like in Houdini. The next thing you find down here is Zoom to d view is set to control middle mouse, and we want to set this by clicking to Alt right mouse, like so. If you leave the dialog, your changes automatically get saved. So now, if you go up here, that is the same panel switching as in Houdini, you can go to the shader editor, say, and now I can hold old and middle to pan and old and right to zoom. Now back to the preference dialog. The next thing we want to change is the 3D view, so open this up and then go to 3D view global. And in here you find rotate view, pan view and zoom view. And these are set to middle mouse, shift middle mouse and control middle mouse. We want to change that. So rotate view will be set to alt left mouse. Pan view will be set to alt middle mouse and zoom view alt right mouse. And notice whenever you change a setting you get this little arrow icon indicating that you change the setting. If you press the arrow icon it will revert back to the default value. So that is a 3D view. And then last but not least we have a image section here. Here, open this up and then go to Image Global. And inside of Image Global you find the same settings, Pan View and Zoom View. Pan View again is set to middle mouse button, click and set this to Alt Middle. And then Zoom View is set to Control Middle Mouse, click and Alt Right Mouse Button. So now, with all these settings, you can close the Preference dialog, switch back to the 3D viewport, and now you can navigate using Alt Left for rotation, Alt Middle for panning, and Alt Right for zooming. And this not only works for the 3D viewport, but you can switch to the UV Image Editor, and it works the same. And you can go to the Shader Editor, and it works the same. 
And even in specialty windows like the sequencer, you can use these navigation shortcuts now without changing anything else regarding the key map. So that is a quick and probably useful tip if you plan on using Blender as a companion to Houdini. Thanks and see you next time.